guys. Phones blaring, tornado warnings going. Holy shit. All right, Texas, listen. I tap out, you, you broke me. This is, this is not how I want to spend a winter and um, we gotta, we gotta get out of, I'm sorry. This is just not my time to be in Texas. What can I say? I'm gonna move on. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I did say all of my goodbyes to family here in Texas. Uh, told them uh, we're gonna have to make some changes next year because November, I guarantee you, you won't find me anywhere near flooded Texas. It's bad, it's bad. Let's get over into Louisiana. Let's do it. sunshine <laughs> guys what an incredible 24 hours it has been holy cow this it, it is just getting scarier and scarier and unpredictable on the road I'm here in New Orleans and but yesterday you know I was I drove eight hours trying to escape the rain of Texas well finally I got in front of that storm just to just to get into another storm here in Louisiana and uh, anyway I, I think I'm okay now uh, there's a little break in the weather sunshine and blue skies and I'm feeling better but holy cow last night was a mess I'm here at what's it called the beautiful Falberg Brewing Company one of the oldest craft breweries in all of New Orleans. Boy, it looks different right now. <laughs> Last night when I rolled in uh, late at night, it was still raining and uh, I was the only person who uh, was in this massive bar. So I thought it was kind of crazy. They are pet friendly, so I was able to bring uh, Opie in and uh, try it out one of their uh, flights of beer and uh, I liked a few of them. Uh, they, they can do uh, live music here, and I think they do on the weekends usually, but um, I was told that because it was raining and there were tornado warnings in the area that that's why I was the only person in this building yesterday. I did also get one of their awesome pretzels with some queso cheese, and that was ridiculously delicious. Everything was going great. We came back out into the RV with the rain slowing down. It got really quiet all of a sudden. No wind, no rain, and then... Guys, phones blaring, tornado warnings going. Holy shit. What are you gonna do in an RV? There's nowhere to go. That is actually the third time in my life I have been in an area where there was a, a confirmed touchdown, or actually I haven't actually confirmed that there was a tornado that touched down in New Orleans, but there was something with the clouds, something going on where if they give you an alert on your phone and say, take cover, and then they start blaring those sirens, those sirens are for hurricanes, evacuations, and tornadoes. When they blow those, I panic a little bit and I panicked last night. Just a wide open area here. There's one RV over there, another big class A over there, and there was a van parked right here that left. But where are you gonna go? Where are you, where are you gonna go hide during a tornado, you know? So I was watching the news, watching the weather, keeping an eye on everything. Sirens went off, it went calm, it never rained again. Everything dried up and here we are, <sighs> resetting like, holy cow, we made it. <laughs> like, Gosh, guys, 
<laughs> time out like man what is it with this extreme weather that follows me everywhere i got tater tot unhooked because now i've been coming to new orleans for for eight or nine years here on the road i've got my spot which we're going to go check out later a free spot to boondock in your rv although it's risky it's risky but it, it's just a, a short little three block walk over to the french quarter this is new for me this is a locked gated community so when they close at 8 p.m they lock the gate out front and give me a little pin card to get in and out so it's a very safe they've got a rolling security officer that works the entire night the parking lot's lit so this gives me a really good feeling comfortable being here in new orleans to be able to explore um as i normally do in, in my videos I, I would normally say that i'm uploading this video with nomad internet and, and I'm just being transparent with you so that you know hey, it happens to all of us right now live I do not have any nomad internet um, I actually uh, uh, two days ago I opened up my nomad internet router and I was getting uh, an orange light and an error message insert sim card well my sim card was inserted and it was inserted correctly and, that, and that's never happened I reached out to nomad internet and they overnighted me a new sim card still doesn't work <laughs> so I, I have a hardware issue I have a bad router so um thank you nomad internet for continuing to help me out hopefully sometime in the future I'm gonna have to get a new Nighthawk router or maybe a new router but right now I do not have any working nomad internet I'm not stressed I have some backups I've got my iPhone I've got Starlink so that's okay I'll give you an update here later but yeah I like my digs here I'm liking it. You can obviously tell they are RV friendly here. Tara and OP, we survived. Yes, I'm gonna go do some New Orleans stuffs and then I'll be back for the kitties, okay? All right, guys. OP, hold, hold down the fort. Okay. All right, French Quarter and Bourbon Street are right to our right. <laughs> uh, we are gonna turn left right here instead. You can see this wall in front of me. This is North Peters Road. And this is the spot. Uh, so I've boondocked so many times right here off to the right. There, I don't, okay, there's one RV up here, but not a whole lot. Is there just one? Yeah, this right here is the only RV I see. All right, I'm finding more RVs and vans and people who are possibly a little more permanent here. But yeah, this is, so North Peters and Spain Street, S-P-A-I-N. All of this right here. Looks like you got some car dwellers here. Yeah, definitely somebody in a van right here. Uh, it doesn't say no RV parking or that you can't park your RV here. It's weird in New Orleans because the law is that these vehicles are allowed to park here for up to 72 hours. That's not me endorsing this place and saying you should park your RV here. I'm just pointing out that I have. A lot of people do. Uh, it doesn't also doesn't say that you're allowed to live in your RV or camp in your RV overnight. However, a lot of people do it and seem to get away with it. And the police around here don't really seem to care. I'm going to go back up here, find another spot to park for free with Tater Tot. And we'll, we'll head into New Orleans. New Orleans. Hey, uh, I like New Orleans. When I first parked an RV here and then walked away, it was a little uncomfortable feeling it is what it is right so this little red toyota right here this is the last of the free parking everything else on this side closer to uh bourbon street and french quarter is all paid parking so you got to pay now just like that though three blocks of walking and we have one of the entrances of the french market so i'm gonna go check it out i don't think i'll find any mickey or camel or uh, Harley stuff, but I'm gonna look around anyway. It's pretty cool. Look at these handmade magnets made out of wood and they're all unique handmade. There's kitties there. And look at this one. Two kitties, like Op Opie and Tara on a custom magnet signed by, is that Alice? Alice, is that what it said? That's you? I love it, I'll take that one. All right, got my two kitty cat magnet handmade here. It doesn't say New Orleans on it, but I'll always remember I got it in New Orleans. So if that happens all crafts, behind me is the food, and you get to walk around with alcohol in New Orleans, so I might have to get me a barley pop. All right, got my uh, Bud Light draft from Organic Banana there. All right, now I'm good to walk around. Got some uh, live music out here, too. Awesome. 
such a beautiful, vibrant, colorful, artistic place here in the daytime. People eating up there. At night, it, uh, it, it changes quite a bit at night. <laughs> but right now, it's nice. I love these old streets, though. If you get here early enough in the morning, they've got pressure washers out and street sweepers. Uh, at night, these corners right here will just reek of urine and puke. And the occasional, we've got one coming right now, a horse carriage. Oh, we're in the artsy fartsy area. Lots of art. And then it opens up in here. It's like a mini little Central Park. Yeah, okay, this is a uh, Jackson Square here in New Orleans. What a beautiful, glorious day. Not a freaking cloud in the sky today. <laughs> Start feeling like you've really earned these sunny days though. Like literally, I've done my time to enjoy this. <laughs> Check out this bicycle, guys. Yeah, that is one Nolan's custom bicycle there. Very cool. With the trailer. Nice. save Bourbon Street for tonight, uh, but I do need to go to Bourbon Street first because there's a Harley Davidson shop and I collect those those t-shirts. So I gotta I gotta look for one that says Nolan's on it first. Hang on, I smell pizza. Yeah, fat boy's pizza. Look at the size of this guy. Look at the size of his pizza. Oh, I love it. And there's a fat boy's pizza box here. I'll put my magnet bag next to it so you can see how big that pizza box is. <laughs> That's awesome. They also advertise the world's biggest slice. Well, hey, this is kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna get a sliced pizza. There's an example of one of those flame lamps that are lit all the time. I think that other one was just out. This one's going. All right, this is freaking comical, guys. Three times the size of my head. <laughs> it's exhausting. The trick is you have to fold it in half. I'm almost done. A lot, a lot of work. All right, Bourbon Street at 3 p.m. on a weekday. Just for reference, because we'll be back tonight when it gets dark. We got the Harley shop three blocks down. Go check out and get a new t-shirt. Yeah, the daylight doesn't do this justice, but look at that sign. Harley Davidson shop. Let's go check it out. Lots of really cool ones to choose from, guys. This is gonna be really tough. Bourbon Street, New Orleans. I kind of like that one up there, but man, way better than some of the other places I've been to as far as options. All right, some ideas for later. The world famous cocktail, New Orleans stiffest drink. <laughs> That's funny. It's dead right now. Dead, but man, these fire trucks have to cut it really close. You can see the, look how close they got to get there. Woo wee, yeah. Well, that's promising. This smart car still have his, has his tires and his windows aren't smashed. <laughs> We're not even the only smart car here. So we should be okay here. There's Tater Tot and everything looks good. Awesome, Aw, Tater Tot. Like I was saying, you can't see from a distance how dirty it is really bad, guys. <laughs> Opie, thanks for taking care of your sister and holding down the fort, buddy. About time for dinner, dinner? A little bit. Terror Bear, how do you do? Okay, girlfriend. She's a sweet girl. And actually, on the way back to my car, as you can see, I have two Harley shirts. That's because there are two Harley shops in New Orleans. Uh, Voodoo was closer to my car, so I got a second one. Got two new Harley shirts. Heck yeah. All right, and the sun has set on the other side of the camera over there. So uh, I'm going to go and pack up and we're going to go do Nolan's at night there on Bourbon Street. We got one more RV that's joined us over there. Tater Tots ready to go. I'm going to stay in shorts and a t-shirt 
forgot to mention that uh, it was 70, 72, 73 degrees today, and it's still 70 degrees here at night. So uh, yeah, finally back to chasing 70 degrees. All right, let's go do Bourbon Street. Just a beautiful evening. Gosh, it's so nice when it's just not raining for a second. <laughs> I know, it probably, you're probably tired of me just saying it over and over, but I mean, really, it's just... All right, Nolens is right over here. All right, did even better. Got tater tot real close. Remember that Toyota truck I pointed out? It's right here. I'm the, I'm the second vehicle three blocks away from uh, Bourbon Street. Let's go have some fun. While we uh, walk up north, Get a load of these rows of gaslit lanterns. It's just awesome. I love the atmosphere, the feel. It's awesome. All right, seeing a lot of bright neon and loud music. This is one start end of Bourbon Street here. Got what I came for, a Bud Light. It's a lot to take in here. It's crazy at night. Not a whole lot of Christmas decoration, so I'm gonna give this building here an A plus for Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Wow, it's loud out here. Look at these stores, though. It's awesome. It's a cool store. Huh. Wow. Slot machines. Huh. People just leave their carts playing music in the middle of the road. Playing music. Okay. Huh, look at this motorcycle. Look at all the lights on that Harley. Wow. Okay, here's a voodoo. Look at the ceiling. That's crazy. It's like a snowy cotton. That's crazy. Pretty cool. Wait a minute, what's this one? The Mango Daiquiri Shop? says mango. I like mango. Oh, let's go see what they got in here. Oh, you have mango daiquiris. All right, got a small mango daiquiri. Let's try her out. They're playing Christmas music in here. Oh, it's really good. It's really cold. Mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Some random stranger just came up to me, whispered in my ear, asked me if I would like to try some nose candy. No, I'm good. Good on nose candy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, and with that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out. Spend a little bit more time walking around, maybe grab a bite to eat, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video, and hopefully in my next video, we'll be getting out of Louisiana. Thanks for joining me, Opie and Terror and I. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, there just had to be one more Willie's Chicken Shack with a cocktail. Yeah, I think I gotta get one, guys. It's a good souvenir cup. What flavor? There we go, I got a mango one to go with a huge one, and I'm gonna, I put it in order for some food. I'm gonna have some chicken tenders and chill here for a little bit. There we go, New Orleans famous fried chicken tenders, french fries, and some bread with some barbecue sauce. Boy, that's a, it's really cold. It's really cold. Feel the frost? I'll let myself out.